Well, um, they say there's like three different types of security guards. You got your street guys that become bodyguards. You got your military guys that become bodyguards. And you got your off-duty cops that become bodyguards. Can you give me the positives and negatives of these types of uh, bodyguards? Um, let's start from the top. The cops, they be cool because they understand the business. Um, a police is really public security. A bodyguard is private security. So they're coming from... Uh, understanding. Mm. I can't really speak for their experience. Mm. Um, military too, they've been in the field. Mm -hmm. They'd be a little more corporate, but street ones, that's why I am. I came from the streets. The yes, streets sir. taught me everything. Oh, really? So, I've been through the ins and outs of wire, you know what I mean? The water, the flames, you know what I mean? So it's like, I think the ones that come from the streets are more dope, you know what I mean? I've been shot too, you know what mm. I mean? In the islands. You know what I mean? So I've been shot 11 times. I got um, bullied 11 when I came up here on a job. But, you know, 10 of my shots came from in the Virgin Islands. Hmm. Okay. Now, see, I seen you dunk with ease. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a bigger guy myself. Is, uh, um, is there ever a problem, like, with... Isn't it like a lot of standing and a lot of physical? Like, you know, you standing up for four or five hours at a time. and More than that. Um, <laughs> yeah. I used to play basketball. Okay. Me so too. I'm athletic. When when I work, um, I don't wear boots. Boots is nice, but you stand and walk so long, you know, the leather going to rub and burn up your foot. So I'm athletic. I wear sneakers. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I wear sneakers. I like to wear sneakers. And um, is is walking, yes. But once you condition yourself, mm. you're, you know, you build for it. So you just you just kind of get used to just the, the vigorous of the, of the actual job. Yeah, you just you know what I mean. Once you know to carry yourself, pace yourself, you yeah. know you're a piece of cake. But okay. if you ain't ready for it, nah. Man, I be getting tired walking through Walmart, man. <laughs> <laughs> I be like, God damn, they ain't got no seats in this. Nah, man, that's that's dope. You know what I'm saying? At any point in time, anything can jump off. So you always got to be ready. Got to be ready. Got to be vigilant. Ten hours up. For respect, respect, respect. Like uh, you uh, you've worked for a ton. Of people in the industry, and I mean a ton. Yes. Um, we'll talk about a few. Moneybag Yo, what was it like working with Moneybag Yo? I like him. Okay. I with him. He a real, you know what I mean? I ain't told in his, his horn and nothing, but um, I know them when I see them too. Game okay. recognized game. Mm -hmm. You know, he was dope. Um, he was a good guy. You know what I mean? I respect him. I got much love. I might link up with him again because I'm actually messing with Big Sexy right now. So they're supposed to get on a tour. So okay. So we might interlock respect. once again. You know what I mean? Big Sexy Red. Yeah. You know, I'm messing with her. So she's, I guess she's a guest on his tour. Uh -huh. So, you know, um, I do good business too. So sometimes I'm here yeah. and I'm there and I'm not always with the same person. Like after my situation, you know, as we get into that, um, yeah. I learned to just like get the better clients or you know, know what I'm signing up for. You know Respect. what I mean? And I run with it. Um, anything that people wouldn't know? Because, you know, you're you're in close quarters with a lot of these celebrities and superstars, right? Yes. And so, like, you know, you get to see a behind-the-scenes look at what we see online or on TV. Like, you say you're working with Sexy Red. Yeah. Uh, you know, any anything that the, the general public wouldn't know about her? Um... I don't speak too much on the clients. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, she cool. Yeah. I never, I haven't been with her that she long. Fire the hell, boy. Listen, she like every, <laughs> she like, you know what? I like her, man. We, we've had a debate about this on our show, talking about uh, Glorilla and Sexy Red. And Stan going to talk about he go with Glo Bro, nah, Sexy, Sexy Red. Red is bad, yeah, bro. Sexy Red. She is every hood chick in America. And I pray she see this, and I hope she like big old niggas. You know what I'm saying? That's rich on the weekends. But, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, um, she she is as entertaining, I would imagine, in person as she is. She humble. Okay. And that's what I like with them. When they humble, I don't like the cocky ones. You know what I mean? Because, you know, I've seen it all. So, you kind of preach into the choir. I can only imagine. But she, she, she humble. So, when she's not out there, she's herself. You know what I mean? And she mostly inside. So um, I really speak more my encounters, Respect. but anything behind, yeah. you know what I mean? For like, sure. you know what I mean? Because, you know, our clients watching. So no, for sure. I want to feel like, you know, but. You said the word humble. I know another artist that I don't feel is too humble. And maybe, maybe you can, maybe you can uh, put some light on it. Megan Thee Stallion. 
Now, I ain't going to cap. I'm not going to get you in no trouble because I have said on this show several times of my contempt uh, or my displeasure of making the Stallions business practices and things of that nature. But that may not be your case. She she cool to her. Okay, humble. okay. I dealt with her when she, you know, in bag and her was all messing around. I used to work for both of them. And then one time she came to the A and um, one of my guys called me and I worked for her. But she really, um, about a business. She okay. go, showtime, back to the hotel. You know what I mean? So I like some, because some clients drag you. Mm. And the thing about them when they dragging you, the money is not adding up. You know what I mean? Because sometimes they get you from the morning and then you come in at 6 o'clock. And then 9 o'clock, they calling you again to go gym. They want to go to the mall, the barber shop. They want to eat dinner, wow. studio, club. You know what I mean? So it's like sometimes with me, it's a money. Like I'm just saying, bodyguards supposed to make six figures for sure. You know what I mean? And a lot of these guys, they they you know they playing with the money. You know what I mean? They yeah, talking I mean, like bosses, yeah, yeah. but they ain't moving like them. Cause like I tell you, my dad was at Island Meat, so I know what a boss moves Respect. like. Respect. You know what I mean? So. A lot of them don't boss up. They talk that shit, but they ain't about that shit. I mean, she, she Megan would seem like a type of person that gets smart with folk every now and then. She bad though. I just, I, I just <laughs> give her that. She bad. She humble, and um, she cool. You know what I mean? She don't say much. Okay. You know what I mean? And 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 that's what I like with clients. You know what I mean? They keep it business, or you know, if we graduate into something else, it's still you know in a professional level. No I respect. You know what I mean? You know, it, because at the end of the day. You're the first line of defense. Exactly. And so if you got a client that got a big mouth and want to pop off and want to act tough because you you there. I mean, have you ever had a client that just gets extremely tough? I'm not not the client that we'll talk about later on, yeah. but anybody that gets extremely tough because they know they got security. Because I've seen it happen. Like, bro, you would not have that energy if that 18 foot nigga was not standing right beside you, bro. I had a, a odd moment. Um. I dealt with NBA Young Boy. Yeah. And it, it, it only lasted for three days. You know, he ended up telling his um his manager he ain't like my vibes, but I ain't like his vibes either. <laughs> you know, I told him I I'm never driving. worked <laughs> I never worked for a kid before. You okay. know what I mean? Because I run with a gangster, so I'm not saying he's not gangster, but bro, game recognized game. And if mm. you can't see my game, you're blind. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm not faking like what I do for a living, I'm doing it from the islands. I'm toting guns from the islands. I came America and now I legally tote guns. You know what I mean? So it's like <laughs> this is no game. Like, you know what I mean? Sure. So I ain't got no time because I got money. I think I'm tough. Like, yeah. nah, I'm about that shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? But at the same time, on a humble level. You know what I mean? Because sometimes you know who you're fucking with. No respect. You fucking put your hands, excuse my language, you go to the club, you beat up El Chapo nephew. You come outside a hundred Mexicans with AKs. What you gonna do? <laughs> you you put yourself in some shit. You know what I mean? So I mean you, Run, nigga. You got. They're gonna fucking kill everybody. I'm just saying, like, you know yeah. what I mean? So it's levels. It's not just us, or we're not the only people that's dangerous. Then that's mm. all I'm just saying. They got, you know, and I have respect. And you know, it's 13 years I've been in the game, and that's why I'm still here because you know I respect people. No, for sure. I don't come true with that. Like, yeah. nah. You know, you know. And that's one thing that I've conceded since I've been sitting down here with you is you, you're a respectful person. Yeah, yeah. You know, and a lot of times, you know, people that may be bigger or stronger than folks, you know, they, they like to downplay people or bully people. I, I don't get the I don't get the bully vibes from you. Yeah, nah, we we the islands we came on our morals on um, we defend the weak against Spend. the strong. We don't pray on that's the weak. Hard. We don't you know what I mean? Nah, I'm not with that. 